Good morning. This is Mr. Popo of the highest order. And we are gonna be doing the second game right now. I just did grapple. So this is called um, Hot Hot Gun. I think that's the name of it. It's a bit reminiscent of uh, maybe uh, Hotline Miami. Not really Hotline Miami, the Expander Bros. And Bro Force and any other 2D Contra like game. I'm honestly not sure what this is about, but this is my first time playing it. I did not even look up what this game is. I'm just getting some games and I'm just seeing, I'm just trying them out right now. But I'll be finishing each and every one of them at some point. So it's, yeah, it's called Hot Guns International Missions. Battle mode, storehouse. Let's let's check out the controllers. I, I like I should like to check that. Um, set up, please. Um, can I use the controller? Give me a second. All right, I'm back, and I'll try to see if I can plug in the PS4 controller. I'm gonna try and get this set up. Should have done it before, but let's do it right now. If it works, it works. It works. Okay. So let's go back, and there it is. Okay, let's play campaign. I think this game came out on the consoles. That's why. I did not even read what the storyline was there, I think I'm a convict. Okay, let's test out the controllers, continue, yes. Run out of fuel. That's not good. Who is he talking to? I think this is multiple players. These are bike coins. Bike coins. Their value is constantly changing. Whoa! No! Ah, oh, man, I died. That was a stupid way of dying right there. Okay, stage one, the streets. We don't got any money. The streets have been ravaged by an earthquake. Yeah, that's, that's what just happened. This is like an earthquake. Might be a mistake. Ah, oh, man, why did I, I... I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting, guys. What's going on with me right now? Keep forgetting. Getting a little bit distracted right now. I'm just trying to read the top. Fucking asshole runs through it. Makes me think, hey, I can run through it. He goes all suicidal. Yesterday, I was also playing Wolfenstein. The, the new... Oh shit, I have a helmet. I can destroy shit with it. I was playing the Old Blood. Really good game. I'm barely on chapter 3. I was playing on the... Uh, I'm playing it on the hardest difficulty. Not recommended. Not recommended if you want to have fun with the game. It's fun for me because I, I, I feel like I'm a real soldier. And I have to kill all these superpower Nazis with robots and shit. And I have to be stealthy. You can be stealthy in the game, that's what I like. They give you that option. If you fuck up, then all chaos ensues and fucking all shit happens. There's mayhem everywhere. Gigantic robots start killing you. We got a gun. Woo! There's a little bit of slowdown and lag on that. Nothing to worry about. But yeah, the old blood, uh, it's, it's pretty much a remake of the first Wolfenstein. I like it more than the the original game simply because it's in a very constrained and a very restrained environment it's just a castle that's all you're playing in and due to being the remake of the first game it's it's a nice throwback if you play the, the original one which I which I did a while a long time ago you know, uh, you, you you understand as you see my playthroughs that I, I appreciate old school games a lot more than I do the new ones. Simply because I like something that I can play kind of fast and just get it over with quick. Doesn't mean that I just like easy games short like this, but 
This is what I grew up with and this is what I'm gonna stick with for a little bit. I'll be I'll be doing some shooting games. I, I really haven't shown you any except for the typing of the dead, but I'm not really shooting there, am I? I'm just typing. And they're doing all the shooting for me. So I, I have some games. I have uh, the Star Wars game. It's an old school Star Wars game. Which I'm gonna be doing because well uh, Battlefront was announced and shit, might as well do it. I actually might save it when we're close to that time just because of uh you know, just for the sake of that, I feel like people will watch it better if I play it around that time. There'll be a more increased interest on the game or on anything Star Wars. That's why sometimes you see people, they do themed episodes, but for me, as far as horror games go, I, I, I do not have any horror theme, you know, anything going on. You go to my channel, you're gonna get anything, you're gonna get a lot of uh, everything, it doesn't matter what it is. You know, I don't reserve games specifically for any time. It's just like if I if I want to feel if I feel like playing Fatal Frame, you know, I'll just play Fatal Frame. I'm not gonna wait for Halloween or anything like that. The only time I wait for that is maybe I'll just start rewatching horror movies. Horror movies are actually fucking my shit. I I love horror movies. It takes me away from reality. That's what I like about him. More than adventure, more than action, I, I like horror movies just because it's it's so absurd. You you tell them don't do that shit, you're gonna get killed and they still do it. It's just watching all these fucking idiots doing some of the stupidest shit ever. And you get to enjoy it. That that's what I like about him. Ah I missed the shotgun, can I go back? Ah I missed it. Son of a bitch, I should have thrown the Ah fuck. Okay, then we don't have a shotgun right now. Might be able to get it later. I still don't know what the cache is for. But they're giving me better weapons. And since we're on the topic of uh, horror, I'll tell you what my favorite... Some of my favorite movies happen to be. It's uh... One of them is called the In the Mountain of Madness. Why do I like it? HP Lovecraft, my friends. HP Lovecraft. That guy, he does it for me when it comes to horror, horror, anything scary. His book may not be holding up as well, but the fact that you know that that, that thought is what counts, and by that I mean that what he what he leaves you, the impression that he leaves you, which is the unknown. The unknown is really what makes horror movies scary. It's not when you see the monster, it's not what's actually happening around it. It's what you don't know that's happening, it, what you don't see is what makes it scary. That's what I like about horror. Ah man, fuck I keep doing that stupid shit. Yeah, cause it, it's all about that uh, unknown factor that they give you. you don't, you're not sure what you're really seeing is what it is. You're not sure if, if that's what it seems to be. Kinda like, I'll give you an example. The, the body is natural, right? I don't know if you ever seen the body snatchers. Uh, there's two. There's two versions. There's a 1956, and then there's a 1980s version. I think it's a 1970s version. Uh, and this movie, the way they move, they make it is that people are claiming that people are changing, right? There, there's nothing that tells you that there's something going on beyond the beginning of the movie, where you see a priest on a swing. And they show you like a plant and then you, you, you they, they kind of give you an idea, hey, maybe there's something going on. Did I die? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Did I not read it? But yeah, this, uh, that movie, that movie, it has you wondering what's going on. It's kind of like an apocalypse because everybody's going crazy. Everybody's like, this is not my husband. This is not my brother. This is not my wife. And so everybody doesn't really... They're, they're telling you that their family members are not really who they are. And they're like, what do you mean? It literally is the same body with the same voice and attitude. But then they're like, no, I know my family. That's not my family. That's not my husband. That's not my wife. You know, that type of scenario. And and that's the beauty of that movie. That's the, that's the example I'll give you. Where you really don't know what's going on. Okay, so you jump higher like that. You don't know what's going on. It adds mystery, 
it adds this this uh, super scary factor where you're not sure what's what's really gonna happen next. You know the name of the movie, right? Invasion of the Body Snatchers, but the way they make it happen is very confusing where you don't know who's who. Where they confuse you so much that you're not sure if the main character could have been one of them just fucking up everybody the whole time. You don't know if their friends have been transformed into body snatchers. That's that's the beauty of that movie. It's like you don't know who is who. And that's what makes it scary for them because it also makes it scary for you. Because if you're in that situation, you don't know who's who, you don't know who's on what side. Just like, let me give you another example, war. You're in a war, you're in a fucking, let's say, like fucking World War One or two, you know, whatever, those wars, any war. As soon as you lose your equipment and you're in a place that has people that are kind of familiar, but you don't really know what's going on, that at that moment, shit goes downhill like in those days. If you lost your shit, if you lost your weapon, maybe your fucking helmet or whatever for whatever reason, and you're in a battlefield, the scary part was not that you were gonna be getting killed, but it was at what moment and who the fuck was gonna kill you because you fucking didn't know. There's so much chaos, you just lost your, your equipment, you're fucking scared, you're like, holy shit. You, you tell somebody, don't shoot me, and they're like, what the fuck, man, I'm like, they just shoot you, they don't ask, you know, that's... Because you're not wearing your uniform, they don't know who you are. Even if you look like, you know, you look American or whatever, they still don't give two shits about it. That's that's what I like about the horror movies, the, the best ones that do it like that, it happens to be Body Snatcher. It's one of those legendary ones. Land down, how do I do this? How do I do this? No, okay, I got it. I know how to do this. I just gotta let him throw the grenade there. So it doesn't matter which weapon I get, do I? I guess it just matters in the, in how fast I can destroy this. I wonder why they're all wearing night vision goggles. It, <laughs> all of them are wearing that shit. And this is the fucking morning right now. Or at least the afternoon, it looks like. Yeah, actually, it's, it's, it's a fun game. It's a fun game. I wasn't expecting much of it, but uh, I like it. There you go, got it. We beat the level. So, there were two blueprints we didn't get. I suppose we can collect weapons in the game, but we're not gonna do that for now. I think I'll do maybe one more level. Some pain. Stage complete, yeah, that was a shock and I didn't get that. Let's go underground. It looks like a short game, but it's fun and that's what I like. Short, fun games, get to the point, just play. I still wonder what the money is for. I, I don't understand what, what do I do with that. Oh man, I burned myself. Let me tell you the, the favorite one I told you was uh, in the mountain uh, in the mountain of madness. Why why is my favorite? Well that movie like I said HP Lovecraft. And that movie it's a combination, a mixture of everything that makes HP Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft, which is the unknown, and that movie emphasizes that better than any other movie I've ever seen, because the madness that the character goes through, you can feel his pain, you literally will go insane if you go through what he just went through in that movie, and I don't want to spoil it, because it's one of the few movies I don't really like to spoil, I feel it's so quality, that I, I don't really like to spoil that movie, there's some movies that I don't mind, but that one, that one was just, it's beautiful, it's, it's such a good movie. Especially when it comes to the ending, you're like, holy fucking shit. You're like, you don't, you don't see it coming, you know, you think he's gonna have some sort of happy ending, but that, once again, HP Lovecraft is not about happy endings. It's just about mystery, about the unknown, about entities and powers that are way above and beyond you. You cannot understand them. You will never comprehend them, and if you try to, you're gonna go mad and crazy. And that's the premise of that movie. The more you learn, the more insane you go. And that's what the character has to go through. The more he learns, the more crazy he goes. 
and as the movie progresses you begin to actually doubt what's actually real and what isn't and a good example of that is near the ending that that ending is fucking insane you get to it and you don't know what the fuck really is it, like did he actually go through all that bullshit or was that like it, is that scenario where you get mind fucked, the character gets mind fucked, everybody doesn't know what the fuck is going on. At some point you wonder, well, you, you start to wonder and question, well, you know, what the fuck is this? It's like, shit, what happened, you know? Is this real life? And the way the movie starts and the, the setup of the whole movie is very well done. It gives you, a, it gives you something very creepy that a lot of movies don't provide nowadays atmosphere that's what that movie had to me that i like on top of a quality actor which uh by the way the actor ah, man i wish i could remember his name but i'll tell you who he is he's the main character on the first jurassic park and he came up in this one movie with vampires too where he was like the main boss and his daughter is actually a vampire and she refused to uh turn into one so she was turning into one she rather get the punishment, the capital punishment, which is the you get burned. So you get taken out into the sun and just go and die over there. So that's what that thing was. But that's who the actor is. So I can't use any weapons here. I like how the weapons add some weight to it, but it, it, it's also kind of annoying. It's an interesting gameplay mechanic. So we have the first suicidal bomber over there. Not getting me. But I guess I could open that. Oh, so you can hang. Run! Ah! Okay, now we know how to do this. Get the weapon. Throw this. Throw this. I said throw it. Now we're gonna hang off this. We'll run this side and then we'll go this way. Let's destroy this. Uh, I think we'll have to make a path for the, this, uh, this thing, this guy. Okay, I'm ready for you, bitch. Ah, uh, he's not gonna show up. Let's just keep going then. I'll just keep going. Quadruple, quintuple. <laughs> I know I'm missing a lot of stuff, but it's not. That doesn't matter right now. We have plenty of good horror movies for everybody to enjoy. There's always a lot of quality stuff to watch for. Recently the movie uh, Get Out, that, that one wasn't so bad. I mean the premise of it, it was I guess you could say it uh, was a little um, racist. But I thought it was just fine. Although the ending felt kind of unsatisfying to me. Because you think it's gonna have an amazing plot and all this, but it doesn't really go anywhere. It really does not go any- ah, fuck. Just trying to complete this level is pretty fucking annoying. There, I saved. I am saved. I got him. Motherfucker, they just dropped it. Ah. 
I am not doing that. Ah, shit. All right, this is pretty difficult. But now we know what to do. Son of a bitch. This is the weapon to use for this level. Oh man, why? Ah, but now I know how to do it. Easy, easy, easy. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, I gotta do this. This is the one. There you go, perfect. Just have to go with the weapon. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the help on that. Fuck. Oh, watch out. One more. We're, we're almost there. I'm almost there. Kind of like bro force. No way! You're fucking kidding me! Holy shit! Well, this is the one where you're gonna see me fucking beat, beating it. That was a mistake. What happens when you try to speedrun shit? Hey, you know how to speedrun? I gotta get this. I gotta get this right. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're mine now. No way I'm gonna fucking die on this. And I, we, I think I finished. No, but I got a checkpoint. Turn around, turn around. Ah! That's not what I wanted to happen. It's not the gun I wanted. Explosion. Cool guys, we got a closure. 
He walk away his own motions. Who, who remembers that song? I know I do. Fucking cool guys don't look at explosions. They walk away in slow motion by the lonely island. That was one of those names that I remember uh, Donald, whatever his name is, that the own comedian. He was like, uh, aren't you guys, don't you regret that name at some point? You know, it's the, the lonely island. It, it sounds pretty fucking stupid. Especially when they became famous kind of high well you have to be really careful what you choose for the name you don't fucking know if you're gonna make it and if you do you better be ready cuz shit you chose a stupid ass name the lonely island I remember they they're gonna have an even worse fucking name than that so it, it's a good thing they chose that name shit I'm glad I had the armor Jesus fuck So no weapons, we're gonna do this hardcore, by the way I don't think we chose the difficulty, we made it, ending, 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 not nah, one more, one more, our first boss, Real straightforward. Nothing too complicated. Nothing except for that. So it's the way they this boss fight is gonna go. It's in a combination of uh, I have to drop my weapon and be ready to jump. I gotta wait for one of those things to be down. Destroys it. Ah, I didn't jump. Press the wrong button. I press the shooting button. Real killer. Hey, go boy. Hey, go boy. Might be a three-hit boss. 